What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today this is gonna be interesting. Yes I have made a lot of videos on the Evolution X ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro but today in this video I'm gonna be talking about how stable it is right now with a little bit of tweaks. And here let me tell you this is by far in my personal opinion the best Evolution X update and yes it is lesser in size like from 1.8 GB it has right now become 1.4 GB because the developer again has removed the ANX camera but I never said that's a good thing but right now I will say that why you will know in today's video so I have flashed this 29 January 2021 build of the Evolution X ROM and yes I was on the previous build so here I have updated from the previous build but yes definitely you can clean flash just by watching that video from the card right there but let me tell you, I have flashed Magisk over here. And how did I do that, you may ask? Well, I was decrypted with Fcrypt Disabler, as you guys, like some of you should already know. But right now, let me tell you, I did not format data to flash Magisk. I just flashed the Magisk 21.4 zip and that's it. That's how it has successfully booted. So let me tell you clearly how to flash this ROM actually. So I am guessing that you are on the stock MIUI ROM and you flash Orange Fox Recovery for the first time with the latest version of R11.01 or something, the latest version, whatever it is, as of right now of the Orange Fox Recovery. With that, you just need to format data once if you're coming from MIUI, of course, then you reboot the recovery once, then move the files like the firmware file, the ROM file and the Magisk Manager. And instead of Fclip Disabler, right now you can flash the Magisk Manager. And if you really want to have ANX camera, you need Magisk Manager here. Because right now the ANX camera has been removed. And the latest ANX camera, which is 185R, that is optimized for Android 11. But right now the ANX camera is a Magisk module only, the version 185R. And here, if you look at the change logs, it is a very, very long like change log. And you can see a lot of differences over here. But the first thing that you will notice is ANX 185R. If you want to flash it, you can flash that, but don't include any pre-built camera. So right now it does not come with any camera by default. So you have to flash the ANX camera and you can also install the Google cameras if you want to, of course, the Unix versions and stuff or other Google cameras that you prefer, you can install those pretty easily. That's not like difficult stuff. But yes, let me tell you, I have flashed the Magisk Manager over here, version 21.4 and earlier, to flash Magisk Manager or Magisk on any Android 10 based ROMs, it was the version 21.2 or something. You needed the DFE and the Magisk Manager to flash, like you needed to flash both zip files like the DFE and the Magisk Manager. But here you can only flash the Magisk version 21.4 and that will keep your storage decrypted. So that's how it is as of right now. You do not need any Fcrypt Dissolver or something or any DFE if you flash Magisk 21.4. And of course this ROM includes GApps so that's not a problem. And from previous builds I would say this is by far one of the most stable experience that I'm getting here. And this is how the status bar looks like because I have customized it to look that way. But let me show you the about section first, then I'll show you the magic stuff, what I have done. So in the Android version section, of course, this is Android 11, as you are noticing the doodle over here or whatever it is. And there is the Evolution X logo up top. And if you're noticing the device is of course, Redmi K20 Pro or a file. And the Evolution X version is 5.3 Lightning still official build. The security patch is latest of January 5th, 2021. The stock kernel here is the Perf G kernel and the build maintainer is of course Johuab and the build date is 30 January 2021 build. Now this is the Magisk manager what I have over here but it does not actually look like Magisk because let me open it up. So this is how the default Magisk manager kind of home screen should look like and here I have customized some stuff so I'm gonna tell you one by one. So if I go into the modules here as you can see I have like flashed a couple of modules this is the ANX camera of course and as you can see this is the ANX camera version 185R which I have flashed which you can install just by clicking over here and install from storage once you download the latest ANX camera of course you can just install it straight from your storage so from here over here you can select that zip and it will be flashed pretty easily. I will show you how the ANX camera is working later but right now let me talk about some other things what I have flashed. 
This is a call recorder by SK Valex. The Evolution X simply does not have a call recorder by default. So that's the reason why I have installed it and I have checked it, it works totally fine. If you give all the permissions and stuff, I will show you that later on again. But yes, I have flashed this Magisk module over here. By just searching over here, you can just tap on the search icon and just search for anything like the call recorder. As you can see, this has come like on the top. You can just download and install it if you want to as I did and here if you're noticing this systemless host this is just uh, like you can enable it from the settings let me show you so from the home screen first let me talk about the safety net so if you are noticing just a second it says and here it shows success because I have enabled magic hide let me show you if from this home screen you can go into the settings and if you scroll down there is the magic hide and from here I have enabled the magic guide and enabled the system list host and stuff and then I set up my Google Pay it worked totally fine Google Pay was working super fine but with safety net let me tell you one more thing it is passing super fine no issues with that but even when it was passing I could not set up my SBI card app and it was showing this kind of error over here which you can see from the screen and it was really hard to set up so that's when I went to the settings again and then I changed the name of the magisk where like you can find that here right now it shows restore magisk manager but it will show change magisk name or something so I have just changed it to mm over here as you are noticing the icon so after that even then it was not working so what I did next is this like you tap on the shield kind of icon over here and then you will find this magisk hide so from here if you tap on this magisk hide let me show you it will appear so you can from here enable some apps to actually hide the magic stuff over here so from here I have selected Google Pay Google Play services is selected by default and this this SBI card app over here after that I could set up the SBI card app so yes to set up actually the SBI card or something like that you can add that app from here you can just select from here and that app will be added and it won't see the magic over here and I have done one more thing that I have deleted the Fox folder like where you keep your orange Fox recovery backup and stuff I have deleted that folder from internal storage and some of that fixed the SBI card app issue I think so yes I'm just telling you that what I did over here so right now it's time that I show you the latest ANX camera version 185R let me open it up and this is how it looks like not too different yes on the previous builds too it was working but again the portrait mode was broken but right now right out of the box if you flash the ANX camera version 185R the portrait mode should be working fine let me actually take a picture quickly over here so if you're noticing even for this object I did set up the f1.1 or something I did change the f-stop and over here if you're noticing the background blur it is completely blurred I mean the background so just notice the differences over here the portrait mode is actually working super fine no issues with that and let me show you how much is the like resolution this is a 12 megapixel resolution photo but if you even if you take a normal photo as you can see this will be working super fine and switching between lenses is again working flawlessly no issues with that even the 2x telephoto lens is working fine if you are noticing and this switching between lenses is so fast as you are noticing you can just toggle between these lenses pretty fast and easily and of course in the video settings you will get up to 4k 60 fps option as you are noticing here and of course 10 p 60 fps and stuff are there and the front camera is working super fine no issues with that as you are noticing even portrait mode photos for the front camera should be working fine again right now let me show you the 48 megapixel mode has a little weird bugs i think still because if i take a picture right now in the 48 megapixel mode let me show you this is a 2.8 megapixel photo this is not a 48 megapixel photo but it still shows there like if you are noticing over here it still has this watermark which says 48 megapixel but this photo is not actually a 48 megapixel photo i think this is a bug or something as of right now but yes you cannot take 48 megapixel photo but 12 megapixels are fine i think where you get a processed kind of image from that original 48 megapixel sensor of course and for slow motion you can shoot up to 960 fps and 1080p as you are noticing and that should be working totally fine here so anx camera has become right now 
the most stable experience over here as far as Android 11 goes, pretty sure. So portrait mode is working, normal photo mode is working, video mode is working, nothing crashes the camera app. So that is a great thing in my personal opinion. That was not the case for the previous Evolution X ROMs or even if you're comparing it with other ROMs like Corvus OS and stuff, even there portrait mode crashed the ANX camera, but right now that's not the case anymore. Yes, the Evolution X not, is not coming with the ANX camera by default, but definitely you can make it happen with the Magisk module, of course, like the ANX camera version 185R Magisk module. Right now, let me go into the system and this is how it looks like. There is a system updater section. You can check for updates from here, of course. And you get the normal stuff like in the gestures, you get these many options. You can take a screenshot right from here. You can share, edit or delete them if you have this swipe right screenshot turned on. And in the gesture navigation, you get these many customization as you can see. You can increase the gesture bar length. Then we have the haptic feedback option, then back gesture animation and stuff. All the things are still present over here. Then we have quickly open camera and stuff. You can enable that. The default keyboard is Gboard of course, because this one comes with pre-included G apps. And you can disable the front camera sound effects if you want to, or you also have the Star Wars sound effects if you like that. You can disable the camera LED for some reason if you want to. Let me go back and here we have the Evolver section and here you will find similar customization as it was with uh, Evolution X543. You can check those out from the card right there. But I would say the customizations are pretty similar as it used to. But again here if you scroll down in the lock screen settings, there is no option to actually enable always unlock with the Figment scanner. So that is a little disappointing for me that the always unlock with the Figment scanner is not there. But otherwise, except for that feature, everything is still there like the swipe to adjust brightness and stuff, these kind of features. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen and by default you get the pixel launcher on the home screen. So that's great, you get the Google's discover page to the left side. And this is how the power menu looks like as you are noticing there is the advanced reboot over here if you enable that from the settings or customization settings. And this is how it looks like you can directly reboot to recover your fast boot from here. And of course there are the smart home kind of things. Let me show you the settings again and in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the battery temperature, the screen on time and then we have the last full charge option. It does not show you the battery cycles and stuff anymore I guess but that's how it is as of right now. You can see the full battery usage just by tapping over here. And I would say in my personal usage, the battery life should be pretty good. I will post the battery life in Twitter or something, but right now this is too early to talk about the battery life here. But yes, you can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time easily over here. In the display settings, we still have this double tap to wake, then pocket detection, enable blurs, and the anti-flicker or the deceiving mode is again there. And we have the styles and wallpaper section. From here, we have these many styles. And in the wallpaper section, of course, there are these wallpapers that you can choose. And from the grid section, we have this five, I mean, four by four option. And by the way, the default wallpaper, which I'm using here is from the Wallpi app. You can get it from the description down below. And in terms of the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like. You can add multiple toggles like this from here, and you can edit and add too many toggles as you are noticing. And here I have added a couple of them. Let me show you. Over here we have the DC dimming mode, then we have the reboot toggle. So from here you can change whatever you want to do that you can do like reboot or recovery or something. From here you can tap and hold it when it says recovery. It will boot directly to the recovery. That's great. And here heads up you can disable of course and there is the headphones buddy or something. Then we have the screen recorder and here let me show you. This is the oxygen OS kind of screen recorder with this. You can change the bitrate and stuff and change FPS over here. So a lot of things that you can do with the screen recorder, but there is also the Android 11's default screen recorder. And as you can see, you can choose device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with this particular screen recorder. And you can record both audio at the same time with the screen recorder. So that is great. And here we have the FPS info toggle. So right now, as you are noticing here on the top left, it shows the FPS right now. Right now, let me show you the stock dialer and this is how it looks like. And what you are noticing over here, you can swipe it down. But this is the call recorder which I have installed with Magisk. And this is how it looks when it is recording. Like whenever you are receiving a call or whenever you are calling someone, it will record the audio over here as you are noticing whenever it shows red. So that's cool. It records right out of the box. No issues with that. You can like play back that audio from the app itself. And I would say the Vaulty calling and VO Wi-Fi both are working fine here, no problem with calling. And as you can see, this is how the call recordings looks like. And these are actually web format as you are noticing by default. And you can convert them or you can do whatever you want with them. You can share it, encrypt it over here. So a lot of options that you get for this call recording. This is how the app looks like. 
as you are noticing but you have to give some permissions for this app at the beginning like the super issue permission then the storage permission and stuff and here are the end to end geekbench score for this particular build and inside security there is no face unlock as of right now as you are noticing but if you see the pixel imprint over here of course i have set up my fingerprint scanner and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed from the always on display as you are noticing unlocks fine let me show you one more time from the always on display with the left hand thumb and it unlocks again and the animations work super fine let me show you up close from here from the lock screen works again and from the lock screen again with the left hand thumb as you are noticing working super fine even with night light let me show you i just turned on night light so from the always on display with night light turned on unlocked again with one single try again with the left hand thumb unlocked again pretty easily let me show you one more time as you can see it took some time but it did unlock let me show you one more time and it unlocked so very very reliable fingerprint scanner over here no issues that i found with the fingerprint scanner with this particular build and of course you can use dark theme and this is how whenever you are using the dark theme it will look like and if you go into the settings again this is how it looks like pretty cool looking like settings panel or whatever you are looking at becomes when you are looking at with the dark theme and if you go into the themes as you can see there is the dark theme you can change the color bucket from here i have been using raven black this like makes everything super super dark and looks very cool in my opinion with the amoled display so yes i use this with raven black but you can use with anything else and you can change the status bar kind of stuff from here and by the way the default volume panel looks like this as you are noticing and you can change the volume panel from here like to aosp expanded compact audio tiled etc options are there for the volume panel and again you might know the customizations are very much options that you get in the evolver settings and here it's no different amazing amount of customizations that you get over here it is still like even better i would say except for that always unlock with the fingerprint scanner it has everything and for some reason in my google assistant settings if i go into this voice match and enable this okay google so still as you can see it is turned on right now but if i go back from here if i go into this voice match again as you can see it's disabled again so this is a little weird that okay google keyword is not working for me at least but it might work for some of you so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you like this video of the latest evolution x rom and how everything is working fine and working perfectly if you make some tweaks on this latest 30 january 2021 build of the evolution x rom on the redmi k20 pro let me know in the comments what do you guys think please share this video with your friends if you feel like this is tiro from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now